I think uh, uh, it's it's both to do with changes in, in in the demand and supply. I would say yeah. the changes in, in in demand are predominantly because of a greater understanding of of the larger field of mental health. I think younger people are a lot more tuned uh, towards psychology, mental health, uh, behavior. So there's an increasing interest. There's an increasing exposure to what's what's uh, out there, which would not have been the case maybe say 20 years or so ago. So an increasing awareness of possibilities of what one would, could do in this in this larger field. So that's kind of along with with the advances of the science of psychology. So you say this is increasing the demand for this career, but also at the same time the supply has has also changed. I mean it's changed from the time when people could just just go do their BA psychology and then MA slash MSc in psychology in India and that would be the end of it. Some of them would probably go on to do some clinical work and many would not know where to go from there. That's changed quite a lot in, in terms of not just opening up Vistas in India, but I mean outside of India as well. There's a lot more clarity. There's there's a lot more availability of courses. There's a lot more variability in terms of the different things that people can do in psychology. And the world has opened up for people as well. It's not just about uh, doing courses in, in India. People are able and willing to mm. go overseas and, and, and do their training, be their master's training or, or doctoral training etc so so there have been changes both on the demand side and the supply side and then that 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 is kind of to a certain extent driving mm. this growing interest in in psychology as a career amongst young people one is the demand versus supply as dr natkarni very clearly said second is the profession itself it's so fascinating and there are so many transferable skills so not even if i do not want to go for a masters program and practice psychology i know if i do a undergraduate program that direct transferable skills right from analytics technology you know communication content writing so what i also have seen across the 20 years 22 years of working when i counsel students is even if they're not clear of becoming a mental health professional or a psychologist or anything, they understand that doing that degree, understanding human behavior, you know, understanding how humans function, it's very exciting. And that, that application is there across many fields. So that is what is exciting. Of course, the awareness is much, much more now. And I want to bring out this, we have a very fascinating centennial generation going on right now. now I love this generation. They are so passionate. They are so empathetic. You know, they want to explore, they want to, you know, they're hustlers. So for them, you know, it, it, it works with that generation really well. And that, according to me, has, you know, caused the surge or caused the interest towards psychology more than what it was some years back. When I was applying for universities and I knew I wanted to do psychology, but I was one of the rare uh, few that knew that. Most people took psychology because, you know, they didn't get the course of their choice. It was a second option. There was also a, a huge gender disparity from what I've seen. Psychology was only available at women's colleges. Boys did not have a lot of option to study psychology. And coming back to say, you know, it's, it's like uh, Dr. Abhijit mentioned, it's demand and supply. And there's a lot more courses available at a lot more universities. And it's being given that recognition. And from what I've noticed, uh, like Praveen mentioned, that this generation is, uh, you know, they want to seek out new things. They want to understand things. And I think uh, the surge of the globalization with the internet and social media and stuff, it gives them exposures to mental health issues that are being acknowledged abroad. Yeah. You know, people without stigma can say, you know, I'm having issues, I need help. And this is, you know, leading them to ask a lot of questions. And I've seen personally with the students here at Korea, they have an urge to know why something is happening and how they can help. Mm -hmm. And I think this is inherent to this Gen Z generation that is coming up, that they want to help, they are empathetic, and, and they have the option to learn how to do it without, you know, falling into the traditional methods of I want to be a doctor or an engineer or, mm -hmm. or something like that. And I think that's great that these changes are taking place in India. Um, and, you know, uh, especially given the pandemic situation, mental health is being talked about a lot more and, you know, it's driving the forefront of uh, research right now. And I think we're going to see a lot more interest in psychology over the next few years.